For the life of me, I can't understand why there are any videos being put out there about Candace Bly and her recent antics with the latest bottom-of-the-barrel barnacle that was cropped up, the straight-out-of-prison Ernie Shell. Just because water seeks its own level, does that mean that people should be splashed on social media? Let's break down the facts. I'll start by saying again that I wasn't able to find any local news story out of Tennessee about Candace Bly failing to appear at a family court hearing last Monday. The reason I'm repeating this is because, in my opinion, that is the only forum where any of this crap going on with Candace Bly, Benny Keyes, and Ernie Schell should be given consideration. While none of it has to do with finding the remains of Summer Wells, it has everything to do with why Candace Bly should have already had her parental rights terminated. I keep seeing comments about how Candace Bly has all this time for fun and games, but no time to look for Summer, and I'm amazed at just how many people still don't get it. Summer Wells died on Candace's watch last June, and as long as Don came home from work and buried her, where neither police nor search parties would find her, that's all Candace cares about. She isn't on a need-to-know basis, so Don hasn't told her where he buried Summer. I wonder how many times Candace Bly has been to see her sons since Don Wells went back to jail, and I wonder if the DCF and family court are tracking it. What about Grandis? For all intent and purpose, she lives with the Wells. Does she have any visitation rights with her grandsons? And if so, how many times has she exercised them? What about the creepy SDA church said to be keeping Don and Candace out, quite possibly because church families are fostering the Wells boys? What about Grandis? Is she not welcome either? With relevant issues like these to address, why does anybody give a crap about whether or not Benny Keyes called the police on Ernie Shell allegedly for bringing Candace Bly a pizza? Now, of course it wasn't because of the pizza, since my guess would be that as a convicted felon with some sort of parole program in place, Shell isn't supposed to be fraternizing with other felons like Candace Bly. However, rather than contact police, why doesn't Keyes find some woman in Tennessee without a soiled reputation like his who can write to the family court about Candace Bly panhandling online, using part of the money to get Shell out of jail, and then having him into her home? What kind of a mother does that? An unfit one. I don't watch Benny Keyes, yet I can see just by the thumbnails on the YouTube feed that he's back using drugs again. He looks like shit, and I mean worse than usual. And while I have a hard time believing that being jilted by a flea bag like Candace Bly would have triggered this guy's latest backslide, it's clear that something has. So this mama bear, or whatever it is that Keyes' mother calls herself, she needs to pay attention because her son is self-destructing on social media. Personally, I don't give a rat's ass how long Benny Keyes has known Don Wells. If the implication here is long enough to have confided to him the location of Summer Wells' remains, why hasn't he led the authorities to that location and collected the reward money? Once again, more extraneous information having no effect on the fact that Summer Wells died last June on her mother's watch due to her mother's negligence, Don Wells buried his daughter most likely somewhere on his property. And aside from Candace, Don, and Grandis, only the oldest Wells boy is best able to give the authorities the information needed to solve this case. He, of course, isn't saying anything as long as his parents' parental rights haven't been terminated. As far as this happening, why isn't that family court judge seeing these ridiculous stories about Candace and asking, what fresh hell is this? Now I'd like to hear from you. Do you think that these stories about Candace Bly and Ernie Shell are being put out there since once the authorities conceded that Summer Wells was close by while Don Wells continues to refuse to cooperate, there is nothing much left to talk about? Thank you for watching and for clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. See you on the next video 
We'll continue to break down the facts.